street fighting between the forces of two rival generals eased in parts of Sudan's capital Khartoum by Friday evening. More than 400 people have been killed and thousands wounded since the fighting erupted last weekend. It is a fight between Sudan's army chief Abdel Fattah al-Burhan and his deputy Mohammed Hamdan Dagalo, who commands the rapid support forces. Sudan's army announced Friday that it had agreed to a ceasefire for three days. The army said the ceasefire will enable citizens to celebrate Eid and allow the flow of humanitarian services. In a statement posted online, RSF chief Dagalo said that he had discussed the current crisis with the United Nations chief. Soldiers and paramilitaries have fought fierce street battles in densely populated districts of Khartoum. Witnesses reported blasts near the army headquarters in the city of five million people. On Friday evening, the army accused the rapid support forces of violating the truce, including by indiscriminately bombing the airport and presidential palace. يعني السودان مبتلى انه يعني تقدير من رب العالمين اننا نعيد عيد ممزوج بصوت الطلقات عيد ممزوج بصوت الدانات عيد بطعم الدم بدل انه يكون عيد يعني كنا نتمنى العيد يكون بحلاوه العيد بكعك العيد بفرحه الاطفال بالتهنئه يعني الناس الماشه Plans are being made to evacuate foreign nationals with U.S., South Korea and Japan deploying forces to nearby countries. The European Union weighing in a similar move. The U.S. State Department said the fighting had made Sudan too risky for an evacuation of embassy personnel from Khartoum. The actual death toll from the fighting is thought to be higher than 400, with many wounded unable to reach hospitals. The International Committee of the Red Cross urged immediate and unimpeded humanitarian access. Analysts have warned that the conflict could affect countries across the region. As per United Nations, up to 20,000 people have already fled to neighboring Chad. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.